have you try something different. Just to protect that shoulder again. Yeah. Oh my god. You gotta have them big, have them big. Every other workout. Every workout. Every right? other workout. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's just a nice old school exercise that yeah. I love. Okay. Wow. Nice stretch. Nice. Good isolation all the way. It's such an old school exercise, yeah. and, and and they don't do it anymore. Or is it for back? Is it for chest? What is it? And it all goes back to isolation. What you can isolate. Confusing. I also had this. I always saw the exercise as tried it once and didn't felt it. I was like, okay, it's done, you know. And then three years later, I tried it. Oh shit, it's good, you know. Because after years, you get like more connected, connected. mind the muscle. Yeah. So yeah, tell us me that 120, would you? The man, the gladiator. Where are you from? Yeah, I have to so Yeah, Let me try it. Fifty-five years old. Let's see what we can show the boys. <laughs> I love the boulders. So what you do is this here. Yeah. Oh. You know, like this, you see? What do you mean? You would do like this. But you want to do a right. Stretch. Okay. Ah. See? Stretch. The elbow is not moving, right? Yeah. You see? <laughs> Maybe you didn't feel it the first time. Is this is a finishing exercise? It's something you do at the very end of the workout. Gives it a nice stretch, and that's the way, you, like you felt, like it's like it opens up everything. So it works the whole chest, but it's at the end of the workout. You know, you. They say like if you do stuff like that at the beginning, you have more mind muscle connection for the heart sets after. But I'm not. Also, people say stretch before you start, and that's not true either. You want to stretch after you have blood in the muscle, or stretch into the exercise. You don't want to do that. So there's going to be a lot said, but it's just the fact that this is a finishing exercise where you do it at the end, where the compound movement, something hardcore, to develop that muscle, 
and the deep density is at the beginning. Back up. Go again. Back. There you go. Again. Nice. One more exercise? One more. And then we're done. Alright. Alright. Jetzt wird es richtig interessant, weil das ist was, was ich schon lange mal machen wollte. Und es ist sowas, es nennt sich Floor Press und er erklärt euch jetzt gerade um was es geht. Ich gebe danach noch mal ein bisschen meinen Senf dazu. I think it's the explosive part, which is important. What, what explosion, do you Explosion, the overload, the, what we're doing here is, we're doing an overload of the nervous system at the end of the workout. Here's the thing, I never wanted to be the best. I wanted to be the best at my worst. And that's the difference here. What this is, is this is my end of the workout. Are you tired? A little bit, yeah. A little bit? A little bit? Like more. Okay. <laughs> now, this is where a champion's made. Let's see how badass you can be when you're tired in the fourth quarter of the game that you gotta man up. Okay, so. That's the principle without here. Without risk. And without risk. Yeah. Now we're I being see. smart about it at the same time. So we're doing um, floor press, where you're only going even, saving the front delt. And just put in power. It's great for him. Okay. All right, let's see it. Head over the chest. Head over the chest. There. Grab a hold. Grab a hold. Boom. Good. Down. Go. Schulterfreundliches Exercise. Das ist sehr. Geht wirklich nur auf den Squeeze. Finde ich richtig geil. Let's go. Show me what you got right here. Show me what you got. The best thing about this is that you're still feeling it, you're still working the chest, uh -huh. and it's again that it's that nervous system and just getting all that blood still going in there. So it's like a mix between pumping and tearing down the muscle again at the end. So yeah. like the finisher. This is one of those things where totality. <laughs> regardless of whatever you're doing athletic wise, yeah. this is gonna help you. As an American gladiator, I had to fight six guys oh, a day. Okay. It's not just one guy. I had to fight him and then take on a whole, a whole new guy, fresh, and fight him. And then again, and again. And I got tired, but you gotta keep fighting. Same thing here. Uh -huh. That way we're athletes. It's like conditioning yourself to a new level. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Going harder, harder, harder. Guess what? Massive. So even with the injured shoulder, you're still training chest. Yeah. And this is a great exercise that you can still do and keep that mass. Most people, yeah. what happens when they get injured? Yeah. They, they stop lose. training. They, they go away. The chest goes away. This will keep that size. All that stuff you worked on until you get healed. Let's go three plates. Three plates? Das war jetzt fünf Übungen, relativ tiefes Volumen, sage ich jetzt mal trotzdem noch. Wir haben schwer angefangen, haben danach ein bisschen leicht weitergemacht, sind dann wieder richtig schwer geworden zum Schluss. Und das ist das Powerbuilding System von Michael Hearn. Ich selber trainiere bereits seit zwei Jahren ähm, mit gewissen Techniken davon. Ich habe auch das Lean Balls System entsprechend mit seinen Philosophien, ich sage es jetzt mal, beschmückt. Weil ich einfach finde, dass Mike einer der in meinen Augen ähm, beeindruckendsten Athleten ist. Und zwar nicht nur wegen seiner Optik, wegen seiner Größe, seiner Postur, 
sondern einfach auch wegen seiner mentalen Einstellung und im Allgemeinen wegen seiner unglaublichen Kraft. Dieser Typ läuft nie mit mehr als 10% Körperfett rum und hat immer noch die, die Stärke. Und das ist, was er gerade gesagt hat, be the best at your worst. Das ist sein Motto. This is all mental. Today you are the strongest you've ever been. And that's just because you're around me, the mental aspect, you're a fighter. And you're like a barbarian today at Gold's Gym Venice. You came in, you both came in, you're injured and you still were strong. So that's the thing. Come into the gym differently than you are on the street. In here it's a fight. Different attitude. Hey, thank you so much for this awesome training. For Again, I hope we can meet up in the future again because you're really one of my biggest inspirations out there. I'm going to keep watching you guys. Yeah. You guys are going to keep growing and growing, man. Yeah. It's, it's fun for me to watch you guys. I will. Now we're going to feast like barbarians. Geht's essen in Southampton oder wo auch immer er denkt, dass es am besten ist. Danke euch fürs Zuschauen, Leute. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen. Daumen hoch wäre nett. Daumen hoch. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Peace out. <laughs>